work time to think classify the following jobs or types of work as mental physical or both sweeper architect lawyer cobbler engineer we all do work to earn money to pass time in a useful manner and to contribute to the society clean and unclean work the people around us do different types of work some of these people provide us essential services they sweep our roads as sweepers they clean our dirty utensils and mop the floor as domestic servants they deliver newspapers as hawkers they walk around the streets and pick up waste as rag pickers they open blocked trains and collect garbage as sanitary workers however we often consider these jobs low we call their jobs unclean domestic help sanitary worker sweeper rag picker some other jobs like those of waiter vendor mechanic plumber milkman washerman gardener and mason have low income they do not require exceptional skills or high qualifications hence we underpay these workers can you imagine what will happen if these people do not do their work this is how our world would be without some of their essential services dirty clothes will pile up cobwebs will be found garden will overgrow with weeds garbage will litter drain will overflow mahatma gandhi brought a revolution in india in earlier times the people who did dirty work were referred to as untouchables they were considered of low caste and lived in the outskirts of cities towns and villages these people did not get education and employment easily they were not allowed to visit places like temples markets and public places hence they were unable to improve their living conditions mahatma gandhi put an end to this he called them harijans he taught the people of india that one should do their dirty jobs themselves mahatma gandhi was a role model you might not know that he used to clean his toilet himself dignity of labor today india is changing people have realized that manual labor is as dignified as intellectual ability dignity of labor applies to the work that we do with our hands how will you get food if the farmer does not work in the fields where will you live if the laborers and masons do not build houses how will you travel if the construction workers do not make roads and bridges dignity of labor is the respect we give to all types of jobs it is a feeling within us that we don't consider that one job as lesser or greater than another it is one of the most essential qualities that we should develop with ourselves many skilled and educated people do not apply for certain jobs as they find them below their dignity by doing this they are wasting their time talent and education today this is changing like in other developed countries the youth of india feels encouraged to do their small jobs themselves they take up part time jobs as sales persons waiters delivery boys attendants etc each job whether big or small contributes to the society all types of work are dignified and respectful labor also gives us self help lessons it helps us to keep fit and makes us aware of our needs and the requirements of the people around us